there are inventors whose work transforms the technological landscape. Then there's Martin Fisher. Fisher thinks about invention in more basic terms, developing sustainable technologies to help the poor in developing countries escape poverty. Most development agencies see the poor as victims. We actually have a very different opinion of them. We see them as entrepreneurs. We see them as extremely hardworking people. They don't need a handout. They need an opportunity. Fisher has spent the past two decades creating opportunities for the world's poorest people. Recognizing that what the poor need more than anything is a way to make money, Fisher and his colleagues have developed tools which enable the poor to prosper. So this is the Super Money Maker Pump, which is our best-selling pump. And it pulls water from a pond or a stream or a shallow well as deep as 30 feet through this hose pipe here and then sprays it out through this other hose. And as you can see, you get an almost continuous flow of water here, slightly pulsed. And uh, this enables farmers to irrigate as much as two acres of land. This pressure hose here can be 200 meters long and can push water up a hill which is as high as 30 feet high. So I come from a family of physicists where almost to qualify for the family, you need a PhD in physics. Martin Fisher took a different route. After earning his PhD in mechanical engineering, he became interested in international development, applied for a Fulbright scholarship, and headed off to Kenya. I went down to Kenya for 10 months and stayed for 17 years. And I went down to take a look at the relationship between poverty and technology and to try to get involved in what at that time was called the appropriate technology movement. Fisher and his collaborators have invented a number of simple technologies that can be used to make money. One turns sunflower seeds into cooking oil. Another fabricates building bricks for low-cost housing. But the greatest impact has come from their line of moneymaker irrigation pumps, which have helped change agricultural practices in Africa's often unforgiving environment. 80% of poor Africans are poor rural farmers. With irrigation, all of a sudden, they can grow high-value crops like fruits and vegetables. They can grow them all year long, get four or five harvests out of them. And best of all, of course, they can grow them in the dry season when there are no other crops on the market, so the price is very high. The pumps retail between 35 and 100 US dollars, a huge outlay for an African farmer. But the pumps can increase a farmer's annual income threefold. And Fisher felt that giving the pumps away was unfair, unsustainable, and demeaning. Giving things to people actually destroys their dignity. To address this, Fisher and business partner Nick Moon co-founded Aprotech, now called Kickstart. It's a non-profit social enterprise that they run much like a for-profit company. Kickstart, what we do is we design tools and equipment that very poor people can use to start highly profitable small businesses. What we really want to do is, is stick to a single plate. Fisher and his team at Kickstart designed and developed the pumps, had them manufactured in Africa, then began selling them in small towns throughout Kenya and Tanzania. Their latest invention is the hip pump. Its design relies on a simple pivot, and its light weight makes it easy to use. On a normal hand pump, you'd be using your arms like this. And you can imagine your arms get very fatigued and tired with this way after about four or five minutes. But by having that pivot there, you can now use your hip motion. So it turns out you can do this pretty much all day. Fisher's inventions elegantly solve fundamental problems. But it's the supply chain he's created that makes Fisher's inventions and the benefits they generate fully sustainable. And so the way we do this is by establishing a full profit supply chain where the pumps and the spare parts to the pumps are sold in every village, every town, every city by profit-making companies. And they're manufactured by a profit-making manufacturer and distributed by wholesalers who are making profits. As a result, the whole thing, even when we walk away from it, will be completely sustainable. The moneymaker pumps have even inspired a music video. <laughs> For Martin Fisher, the invention and design process takes many shapes. Above all, he says, it demands openness and a willingness to continue to search for a better answer. In my case, I do a lot of sketches. I just sketch and sketch. And 
one thing I often try to do in my head is just throw out all preconceived options. You know, instead of going down one path, let's just start from a clean slate and say, okay, what could the path possibly be? The path that Martin Fisher is forging for millions of the world's poor is one ripe with opportunity, a pathway to prosperity.